as I mentioned before, you've even taken the Polish state to the uh, to the court, to the human rights court yeah. in Strasbourg. Yeah. And as far as I understand, it's not because you're not allowed to marry your partner, but because uh, the Polish state will not give you uh, a marriage certificate. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah a certificate of marriageability. As, uh, as with a same-sex same partner. Yeah, which 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 would uh, allow me to contract marriage in a different jurisdiction. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, how is that going? I mean, it's 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 been there for for now uh, since uh, actually uh, the case was finally decided. Uh, in the first week of the first PSI government, a PIS government, um, so that was when was it, 16? Uh, <laughs> you filed in 16. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, and we filed the claim in 2017 in April. Uh, so I have not had anything new since 2020 when the government, uh, when the court in Strasbourg communicated that case and uh, 17 other cases, similar cases, all about uh, one type of recognition of, of, of same-sex uh, partnerships um, uh, in Poland to the Polish government, then we exchanged pleadings again, and uh, then the cases are basically there on the rolls waiting to be decided. But next week, on the 10th of uh, December, uh, the first set of five cases is, uh, is scheduled to, to be adjudicated and they are much more uh, feather going than my case because these were the Polish Oliari. So there were five uh, couples of Polish nationals trying to get married, of same-sex Polish nationals trying to get married in Poland according mm -hmm. to the Polish law. And this will be decided next Thursday. Okay. Because and there are also some uh, cases where people have been married outside Poland want to be recognized. Yeah, so, so in, in this array of, of uh, 18 cases that uh, to, which were jointly communicated to the Polish government uh, in 2020, uh, they all deal with some great off recognition of same-sex partnerships in Poland, starting from cases like mine, so uh, it's, uh, uh, it's even before, <laughs> so to speak through um, cases like people got married uh, abroad, for instance in Denmark uh, yes. or in Germany, and they want to have either they managed to be completely recognized or transcribed or draw uh, some legal effects from the foreign marriage in Poland, so like tax, uh, tax spousal benefits, uh, spousal tax benefits or um, but not social security, um, and the, 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 at the very top of that is the, the set of cases uh, which are supposed to, 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 to repeat Oliari. I'm very hopeful for next week because since Fyodotova and others in Russia in uh, January this year, where the court of Strasbourg in Grand Chamber, so that's really an important the, judgment, um, uh, said... That's the Supreme. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, the, that's the, the... you cannot appeal from that. So they said that Russia violated the convention uh, not recognizing uh, or not formalizing, at least at some degree, same-sex partnerships in Russia. And what but do I, you think it's realistic that we get sex same same uh, same-sex marriage in Poland within the next four years, for example? I would want to change to, to wait till the constitutional court is safe because uh, the moment we get yeah. a law. Uh, we, I'm not sure what, if Duda signs it in. If, if we get a bill, we are not sure if Duda signs it into a, a, a bill. Uh, sorry, it signs uh, the bill yeah. into a law, or. Um, but okay, Duda will be gone in two years. And the court then that they will have a majority. Um, people who. who, who but the think, constitution still says that marriage in no, Poland is between a man and a woman. No, no, the constitution says the Republic of Poland protects marriage as a union of a man and a woman, motherhood. Parenthood and family. Uh, okay. So, um, uh, first of all, not every constitutional right has to be expressly stated in the constitution. Um, you you have a lot of of um, of uh, situations that are not explicitly stated. Nonetheless, they, they they are the core of the constitutional core the constitutional core of, of human rights. Second of all, uh, so for instance, in this very article. The Republic of Poland protects uh, marriages of a uh, union of a man and a woman, um, motherhood, parenthood, and family. Um, fatherhood is missing. Do, do you think then that the fathers have no rights in Poland? Yeah, of course fathers have rights. Uh, but it's not in the constitution. 
so so yeah yeah okay so but uh, uh, realistically i suppose the, and, the and first the, step would be a kind of registered partnership yeah yeah and then and then the, the, the thing is that it whole, they, they say it's a defini legal definition of marriage, whereas it's not a legal definition of marriage, it's an example of what marriage may be. And in no way, I mean, there is one important principle of constitutional law that I learned during my studies, even though I'm not a constitutional lawyer, <laughs> and that is that in a democratic state of law, uh, everything is allowed which is not expressly forbidden. And uh, this goes for the constitution. So the constitution allows you certain things, it doesn't say anything about other things which you are still allowed to do, and the Constitution also bans certain things. But the only things that you cannot do are banned by the law. And in our Constitution, very few things are banned, um, and one of them is discrimination. Yes, that's Arti true. Article 32, there is, no one can be discriminated on any ground. Article 47, the Republic of Poland has a duty to protect private life and family life. So. Apparently, the Supreme Administrative Court, two weeks ago, it's a very first decision, they had decided to, um, um, to ask Luxembourg about transcription of a same-sex marriage uh, contracted in Germany, in Poland. Apparently, in oral reasons of that decision, the judge would say, Article 18 cannot be read, read in separation from Article 32 and Article 47. No, of course you can that say that one paragraph is better than the other. And that that is that is actually the thing that's going to happen. So I'm I don't not sure I'm not sure if we get marriage or even register partnership within two or three well, in, during this mandate. Maybe we have to wait a little bit more. But I am generally optimistic it will happen. It will it, come. It will happen, and again, it is the silver lining of the bloody rule of law crisis in Poland because uh, people. Uh, thanks to that crisis, because the, the LGBT community had taken active part in protecting the judges, all of a sudden LGBTQ rights became part of the mainstream. And uh, the judges became more lenient because they saw, they saw themselves as an oppressed minority as well. Yes, that's true. So it's sociologically easier for a judge to understand what a gay, lesbian person, transsexual person feels when they are confronted with the limitation of the rights. And third of all, this tremendous, terrible, homophobic campaign, institutional homophobia uh, by the Polish government, actually fired in their faces. Yes, in, I also have that impression. In, in, even in little places in Poland. I, mean, I don't want to uh, uh, draw it in, paint it in pink, pink colors, but even in small places. People all of a sudden realize that they are LGBTQ people around them. They are good neighbors. We need to respect them. Of course, I'm too positive on that, but it, it's really, I, 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 there are these wonderful films about uh, um, uh, same-sex families in little places in the rural Poland. You can put a link because they're English okay, subtitles yeah, for that. that. We are families. Uh, uh, yes, It's absolutely amazing. It's, it's heartbreaking, but they tell about their everyday lives and how their neighbors treat them as normal. Because, I mean, not normal. Normal families because they're normal families. So in this country, almost 60% of the population, that are the, the results from a poll from about two years ago, among them majority of peace voters are in favor of formalization of same-sex unions. Well, Panik, thank you very much because you participated in this. It's fantastic. And I think I'll split it into two because it's going to be too long. Yeah. Not. But uh, it's very, very interesting points. And I am sure people will enjoy to hear. Thank you. I hope. <laughs>